Hello, I'm Ben Lack, and this is your latest Daily Energy Report. Fuel Cell Energy has signed a partnership agreement with Abengoa to develop localized stationary fuel cell power plants for markets in Europe and Latin America. Under the agreement, Abengoa will develop, manufacture, and market stationary fuel cell power plants using fuel cell modules provided by Fuel Cell Energy. Using a 300 kilowatt proprietary direct fuel cell module, the initial pilot installation will be at the Abengoa headquarters in Palmas Atlas, Spain. The partners will target markets in Europe and Latin America for megawatt class DFC power plants, focusing on municipalities, large industrial power users, and facilities that generate renewable biogas. Under the partnership, Abengo will also use its experience with biofuels to develop a fuel processing system that will support the use of liquid biofuels as a fuel source for the DFC power plants. Sun Power Corporation has agreed to supply a total of 54 megawatts of its solar power technology to NRG Energy. Under a supply agreement, Sun Power will deliver 24 megawatts of high efficiency solar panels to NRG by the end of this year. The balance of megawatts, as well as a portion of the 20 2011 panels, will support NRG's 26 megawatt Borrego solar project in San Diego County, California. Sun Power will supply its Oasis power plant technology for the Borrego project. The Sun Power Oasis power plant product is a fully integrated module solar power block that is engineered to rapidly and cost effectively deploy utility scale solar projects while optimizing land use. Each power block integrates the Sun Power to tracker with high efficiency Sun Power solar panels, pre manufactured system cabling, and other advanced features. UISOL has delivered the Smart Grid architecture to Glendale Water and Power for a progressive and comprehensive smart power program. The Smart Grid architecture provides the guidelines, standards, and processes for the applications, the data, and the integration associated with Smart Grid, while overlaying comprehensive security architecture. It empowers GWP to unify all commu current communications, deploy enterprise service bus technology to enhance systems integration, strengthen firewalls, and security measures to improve efficiency of operational and business functions. And finally, HyperSolar, which develops a breakthrough technology to make renewable natural gas using solar power, has said that its technology can help reduce the need for hydraulic fracturing used to access underground natural gas resources. The company's renewable natural gas is a clean, carbon-neutral methane gas that can be produced above ground and used as a direct replacement for traditional natural gas to power the needs of the world. The company's technology will make pipelines ready renewable natural gas above ground without releasing any volatile compounds into the water supply or the air. That's your Daily Energy Report. To learn about these stories and more, please visit us at dailyenergyreport.com and also make sure to check out our podcast on iTunes. For the Daily Energy Report, I'm Ben Lack. Thanks for watching and have a great day.